Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. His name is Genghis Khan, and he wants salt. And I have plenty of delicious salt. So we will take his salt in return for our, uh, elephant tusks. And uh, we shall be very happy. And Peta shall be very, very sad. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. I believe this is episode number eight now of Drinking with Deity. Episode number seven there probably was a little bit short just because I lost track of time. I did not set the timer, so I have no idea how long or how short it was. So I decided to just stop it there and uh, go ahead and get started with uh, episode number eight here. So let's take a look at what we can build here. The musket man, that's going to take a while. Uh, let's build a Coliseum here. Let's, uh, I want to get Coliseums in all the cities so I can get my wonderful Circus Maximus up. Happy as get some more uh, great works here. Get more culture. All right, so we have spots for one more great artist. And we'll go ahead and get those things set up so we can start getting wonderful coal. So we can start getting our wonderful factories. And I suppose, actually, we don't have any spare iron here. So if we did have spare iron, I'd start building frigates in the, uh, places like Carico, but we do not. Actually, Carico's still on, uh, still on production focus. Hmm. Should probably change that. I'll take a look at that city. Oh, great. We've got... These guys are probably... Oh, no. Mongols adopted, uh, order. All right, we got acoustics. I don't remember researching that. Awesome sauce. Well, we got acoustics. Let's, uh, actually, I'm in no hurry to get to scientific. Well, I should be in a hurry to get to scientific theory, but I want, yeah. <laughs> um, cannons are useful, so is fertilizer. Let's get scientific theory first, then we'll go for uh, cannons, then we'll go for riflemen and fertilizer and modern warfare and all that wonderful stuff. And it takes 200 gold per thing. That son of a bitch. That sucks. Well, we should be able to uh, build some wing stars here. Let's build a barracks first in that city. It should have one anyway. It's a production city. Let's assign our delegates on these uh, particular uh, things that we're talking about here. So I'm just going to vote down uh, the Byzantine uh, thing here, which is probably not going to do anything. I simply do not have the votes. I'm going to trigger a golden age with that artist that we just got because our art slots are full. And that'll get us some more gold and uh, that'll allow us to upgrade our thousands and thousands of uh, pikemen while well, it'll let us upgrade three of them into winged hussars. We'll put it that way. Then maybe we'll uh, stomp on the Japanese a little bit. Maybe get into a little uh, bit of a fisticuff with them, even though we are smaller militarily speaking. Which, honestly, I'm not sure if we're ever going to be a bigger army. Let's see if they're still at war with the Mongols. Yup. You guys, I rigged that one a long time ago. It's hilarious that they're still there. Uh, I do like the World's Fair, but I don't think I can win it. And I definitely can't win this one. It's just going to piss a lot of people off if I try. Um, so arts funding is in action. Scholars and residents I'm not a big fan of, except that that's really going to help me out tech-wise. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. All right. Um, I could try embargoing, but I don't want to do that. That's not really going to do much anyway. If I embargo Khan, it's a good way to get him to declare war on me. Probably just waste this on the World's Fair. Projects are always good. 
On lower levels, you can definitely screw with the AI. On the higher levels, it's a little more difficult. They just get a lot pissed off. A lot more pissed off, rather. Happy about it. She's probably happy about it. Japan doesn't give a fuck. That's okay, they're assholes and we'll go to war with them soon. The actual Japanese are lovely people. They are some of the nicest people in the world. But in-game, they're uh, super warmongery. And we got muskets. Sweet. Oh, that's what we had going to load. That's inefficient. Um, can we maybe, uh, maybe how about we just delete that and we get another ship going? These cargo ships are so cheap at the moment here, and it's a lot more effective. Get an opera house up since we don't have factories yet. Those are extremely important. Definitely need to keep our culture up. So that we don't get stomped into submission uh, by whoever is trying to get a culture victory. We've got open borders with the uh, freedom faction, right? Yep. Ireis considerar esta oferta? So she'll take an even research agreement for that. Six more turns left on our golden age, and I am having more alcohol. Should take a look at our tech tree times post uh, sciences funding. Doesn't really look like there's much of a change. I think things are like one or two turns uh, shorter, which is nice, but not colossal. Although maybe it is colossal on this level of difficulty. Who knows? Park these guys here. Back. Here's a problem with going to war with Japan. I still need to have this bulwark of uh, troops and shit right here to defend myself. Or at least I need to get loads upgraded to a uh, castle. And also they have the nasty habit of uh, the Bushido uh, special ability there, which is they fight at full strength no matter what. Which, not the best for a uh, human player, but... Uh, for an AI player, someone trying to beat the AI player, it's it's pretty nasty. It's pretty hard to beat them. Sure, whatever. We'll build a trade depot for now. Huh. Interesting. We only have one academy. I would have thought we'd have more. Probably because I screwed up a uh, while ago on Great Scientists, which actually I'm probably still screwing up in the loads. Yep. Yep, bad y -bot. Get more scientists and engineers working in the loads. And in Caraco. Let's go ahead and get that factory up, and let's send that uh, food ship over to Lodes. Try to get them some more people. Try to get it all pumped up to uh, be a big, uh, large city. That's a hell of a lot better than before. Huge difference.
Actually, let's just have this guy explore. And uh, if we've got enough money, let's go ahead and upgrade these guys to Hussars. Sweet. Ethiopians built the red fort. It's not it's not super concerning. I wonder if I can see it on the map. I think I can. Nope. Yeah, that's the red fort right there. And that would holy crap, 69 <laughs> city strength. Yeah, you don't want to go to war with them. Build a factory followed by Circus Maximus. And I think Lodes is our uh, area of most commerce at the moment. Oh, we can build a Musician's Guild. That's interesting. That takes hardly any time, so let's do that first. I like how in this mod uh, you can just drag up and down on the production list. It's nice and easy. Or with that guy. Let's fort those guys up. Alert. We're pulling in some decent gold with our uh, golden age here. That's going to come down later, which will suck. Visit my military advisor again, because Hiroka could wipe us off the planet, Mongols could wipe us off the planet. I'm actually going to quickly look up the uh, Japanese unique unit here, the samurai. I want to see what sort of strength they have. Actually, let's... Uh... All right, so we've got the Samurai 21. That's impressive. That's equivalent uh, nearly to a Musketman. Yeah, they're 24. Samurai's 21. Yeah, that's pretty scary. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I have not declared war on Japan yet. Hmm. Let's see if there's more lucrative routes I can take besides this one that just gives me money. Apparently not. If we're making any sort of a dent here, not enough. <laughs> 72% pressure. Excuse me, guys. I think we will go ahead and maybe uh, just try to poke at Japan in a few turns. Oh, they have a diplomat. The, Byz the Byzantine have a diplomat in my capital. Melima. And they will give me stuff for uh, that particular vote. Let's try... Let's try 240. Will you give me that? Horses? How about 200? 
που σας επρέποντα τεσσαλοτρίας ομιλίας. Try 175. Με δίξας. Ή που σας επρέποντα τεσσαλοτρίας ομιλίας. Με δίξας. Let's try 150. There we go. Δίπο φίλε. Hey, that's a free 150 for selling my vote for something I would have voted yes to anyway. That works. I'd like to negotiate passage? Uh, no, no, that's not happening. Hmm. Once I have riflemen, I'm uh, comfortable going head to head with the uh, samurai easily. Probably I could do it with musketmen and uh, pikemen. Probably get annihilated. And we still apparently. And the Japanese are getting a little ridiculous here. Ireis considerar esta oferta? Discuss something with her. Let's discuss what she thinks of. It was worth a shot. Trying to get more allies for a coalition. And Hiawatha is in the modern fucking age and he has built Broadway. Well, on the downside, let's take a look at how that what that means for us. That means that there's very strong pressure for freedom but slightly more pressure for order. <laughs> the good news for us is that uh, it means we'll uh, have cultural pressure to be more like uh, Hiawatha, which is actually going to be good because I'm going to choose freedom. Okay, so anyway, I have been missing some of my upgrades here. Let's go ahead and let's upgrade a couple of winged hoosers. And let's go ahead and let's grab cannons. We'll grab cannons followed by riflemen. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll declare war on Japan. I'm being super cautious about this, guys, because if I fuck up too much, it'll go straight to hell. <sighs> sure. I may regret this, but sure. I'll let you have open borders with me. I hate open borders with people on my continent. But I'll make an exception for you, because you seem nice. Alright, let's take a look at our Hussars. Heavy charge. Forces Defender to retreat if it inflicts more damage than it receives. A Defender who cannot retreat takes extra damage. Interesting. So we have them up against the coast here, so we can charge the shit out of their uh, of their Japanese crossbows here. Those guys, we don't have enough money. Those guys, we don't have enough. We'll go ahead and we'll pull back some of our dudes. Actually, we're going to pull this machine gun down here. It's Gatling cannon. Gatling gun, I should say. I don't really think we have much to uh, improve anymore, so we'll delete that guy for now.
ireis considerar esta oferta? I want to keep as many horses as I can, so sorry. My unique unit's about to come into uh, focus, so I'm going to start kicking some asses. Once we have cannons. Or at least once we have the tech for cannons, I should say. And we got a new great scientist. Uh, we do have scientific theory, however, so... We'll go ahead, we'll move that guy near to the capital, we'll probably park him on top of the jewels. And we'll go ahead, we'll pop in here, save drinking with deity. Deity, Drinking with deity. We shall go ahead, we shall save that, and... Uh, Probably in the next episode here, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, see what sort of terrible things I bring apart upon myself by uh, going to war with them. Going to war with the Japanese. In the meantime, we'll prep. Get a little more comfortable with the idea. It scares me because they have a more powerful military and it's probably a stupid suicidal move. But we shall see. We're getting more winged hussars, and we are uh, going to have some cannons. We've got plenty of happiness at the moment. Our cities are growing nicely. Lord knows how many caravans are going to be uh, cut off. Nope. We're not doing that anymore, bro. And we're not doing that either. Sorry, Maria. Nope. No can do. All right, we've got the chemistry here. We'll go ahead, we'll pick up rifling next. That'll be like six turns till it gets done, as it says there. And the Japanese already have those delightful cannons. That's lovely. Tiny bit of posturing, and we'll check out loads to see if it has a castle, and if it does not, we will uh, put that into the queue. Nope, not happening in Japan. Also not happening. Continue to give you open borders. People who like shiny things the most. I don't because I'm Poe. Should really get an opera house in there, but first we need to get a couple of cannons. Sleep for now. Port him up, port him up. Put that dude on alert. All right, we're just about done here, guys, so I think I'm uh, probably just going to cut it off now. 
and uh, probably uh, 10 minutes or so into the next particular uh, video there, we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, start a war with Japan. And we will see how that goes. We'll check with our military advisor first, of course, because we don't want to die for nothing. But uh, yeah, we're going to start a war with Japan because they're getting kind of annoying here. Picking up little scraps of land here and there that, uh, like, I mean, it's not going to conflict with me at all. But uh, still, I wouldn't mind uh, taking some of their cities from them, taking some of their resources from them. So we will see how that goes. I'll also check my deals with them. Because I might screw myself over with this. Before I go, I will uh, do a quick little trade here for uh, salt truffles with uh, Hayawatha, just in case, because you never know when you can need more uh, piggies. Anyway, guys, my name has been Wybot. I will see you guys very shortly with, I guess, part nine now. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.